Hi everyone, you're watching Hard Video Order Stuff, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I go about filming drummers doing their thing. Let's do it. I just wanna say a special thanks to Ben and Alex for letting me film at their beautiful studio in Wells, UK, called Axe and Trap Studios. Also the talent in this video, the drummer, George, all of that is linked below, so please check them all out. Let's kick off with the gear I used to film this video. I compiled a kit which is linked below if you want to check out exactly what I used and their current best prices. I filmed the whole thing on my Sony a7S II and I used a variety of lenses depending on the shot. I'll go through exactly which one I used when I show you the actual angles. Next, I just wanna show you what I did with the lighting. In this case, I've used a three light setup with an Aperture C300 with a big light dome for that big diffused key light. And then I've accented it with two Aperture LED panels behind our subject with no diffusion for that kind of nice silhouette and little bit of flare. I've also got three different fairy light colors. Uh, I've got red on camera right, blue on camera left, and daylight across the floor. That's just to jazz up the background a bit and you know give us some nice bokeh balls. As you may know, I'm a huge fan of movement in video. I'm really not a fan of the lockdown still frame kind of look like this. I, I like movement in any form, be it on a gimbal, slider, or handheld, because I think it brings a lot to the excitement and this is certainly a drummer that deserves an exciting looking video. In this video, the shots I captured are mainly on either a slider or handheld. The first angle I captured is my safety shot. You know that shot you get just in case everything else goes wrong? <laughs> I used a Canon 35mm f2 prime lens which is just about wide enough and gives me some nice background blur. Next, I threw on an 85mm f1.8 lens because I wanted to capture any kind of facial expressions. I think sometimes when filming bands, it's sometimes easy to focus too much on their instruments and what they're playing rather than the expression on their faces when they're playing. Next, I got a couple of handheld manual focus shots looking over the two main symbols on his kit. I noticed that George, the drummer, is fairly placid when he plays except for when he smashes one of those crashes. So I really wanted to capture that intensity when it happened. For these two shots, I used a Sigma 50mm f1.4 art, hence the very sharp image and big bokeh balls. I then wanted to get a really, just one really crazy shot with a super wide angle lens. So I moved the tripod and slider and put it as far as I could inside the kit without being hit by a drumstick. It's a very unconventional look, but I really liked it. And for this shot, I used a Canon 1635. Lastly, I had George run the take a few more times and I just got a few handheld shots of anything interesting that he did. Fills, crashes, rolls, or if he was just hitting something particularly hard. I used the Sigma 50 mm for all of the shots and they turned out to be probably my favorites. In case any of you were wondering how I filmed the video and yet have the studio recorded track over the top, well, the guys at Axe and Trap Studios recorded George playing the track through a few times before we started. They picked the best one, and then we pumped the track back out of the PA monitors uh, in the live room. Luckily, George is an unusually accurate drummer, so he was able to play along to the track and essentially replicate what he'd done in the recording over and over again. I don't know how he did it. Um, I had no trouble at all syncing up the audio to the video. Now, let me show you how I colour graded the footage. Jumping into Final Cut, you can see my edit along the bottom of the timeline, and I've added an adjustment layer so I can add all my effects to the entire clip. You can see I've added colour wheels, colour curves, custom LUT, and a second custom LUT, and then a vignette. No sharpening, nothing like that. The first thing I did when I started grading was to turn on my lookup table, and I'm using the Phantom Ari Look Utopia LUT, which I just love and it's doing a pretty decent job of getting it in the ballpark of where I want it to be grading wise. However, I'd say it looks a little bit warm. So this is where I bring in my color wheels and I brought down the exposure a little bit and I've just nudged the shadows into that kind of nice, slightly more tealy, turquoisey blue. And I've also cooled down the color temperature just a little bit. Next, I'm gonna open up the color curves and I'm just going to edit the contrast curve just to get it looking a little bit more moody. And yes, I really like the way it looks there. 
Next is a controversial thing to do, and I'm going to add a second instance of a lookup table. And I'm using a different Phantom Array Look LUT, and it's the Ice Blue lookup table this time, but I'm using it on just 15%. So it's really not affecting it much at all. All it's doing is giving a gentle lift to a few of the colors that I want to boost. Finally, I'm gonna add a vignette, albeit a very heavy one, which I'm not normally this heavy handed with my vignettes, but in this case, I really quite liked it. Helped it to look a little bit more moody and draw my attention to the drummer. And there we go, that's a fairly simple grade, but I think I really am quite happy with what I came up with. Be sure to check out the full video, which is at the end of this video. Please hit subscribe and check out the links below. That's the best way to support this channel. Massive appreciation in advance, kind sir slash madame. And that's it for now. I hope you found this video interesting and helpful. Till next time, let's help each other out and shoot better video. See you guys.